Okay folks, it's time for another RV mod. In this box here is a 19 foot by 9 foot easy zip locker. Uh, what that is, it's a sunscreen for our awning above us. We're here in Florida and it's hot. The afternoon sun, mid-afternoon is okay because it gets the other side of the rig, but in the morning through maybe 3, 4 o'clock, it gets really hot out here. We can't even sit on the porch. So, we've been wanting to do this for a while. I ordered it the other day online. It's here. We're going to unpack it and see how this goes. And here's the awning anchors. Go with us. So how did you decide what size to get? What did you what did you have to measure to figure out? And how is that going to go in? Well, we had to measure the boom. Um, so the boom is 19. And then the longest downward they had was uh, 9 feet. And so that's, I got the biggest we could possibly get. And so how, high could get, are we, how high uh, are we? Uh, we're about uh, 13, I think, 12 or 13. Okay. So it'll be a little short, but that's OK, because we're going to be kicking it out with the holders. How it goes in, I don't know yet. Like, there's little slide grooves up there, and somehow we're gonna be able to slide this thing right in there and run it all across. The other nice feature about this, which you'll see, is it zips, unzips, I guess maybe just a couple feet down from above. So we'll actually be able to take it off mostly and then roll it back up into the awning without the whole screen being up there. So we'll see how that works. So that I'm not fumbling with the whole thing, I am going to unzip it. So I have probably a little easier job. It would have been nice had it come with directions. <laughs> okay, so what I've done here is there's a little bit of a gap up above this piece here. So I just had Chris roll the awning back a little bit so that I could get into the track. So now I can just keep stringing this thing right across into the track the way it's supposed to be. It would, yeah. Okay. We just put the screen on and have come to a realization that um, it's too long. <laughs> so we measured the entire boom, which is 19 feet. We probably, the next one down from this, I think is 18. And there's a little bit of gap, as you can see up in the right hand corner there with the awning. And that difference is probably where we should have been. So we should have been a little bit shorter and not the exact length of the boom because too long. So we're going to pack this up and send it back but in the meantime we're going to order another one so that hopefully in the next day or two as it continues to be hot here we'll have some shade soon. So the next uh, length down was 17 feet so we just got it in. It was a day after we got our other one. And we're just going to take a few minutes here to get set up and we're going to put it on. I think this one's going to work because obviously it's shorter. One of the things I found out was the Easy Zip awning has a piece of plastic. It's rather hard. It's very small and it's supposed to run through your track of your awning. And what I discovered was if I kept moving the awning, there's kind of a flat piece up on top that makes it so much easier to thread through trying to, instead of trying to cram it up through a very small area. So if you just keep rolling your awning up and if you've got an extra track to put it in, get it up on top, it's going to be so much easier to put that plastic uh, feed through the awning. The other thing we did is we lowered our awning to the lowest point. So instead of being up like this, we lowered it down. Just makes it a little easier for both of Chris and I to get this thing fed through and to put the zipper on. So we want to kind of roll it up 
that one bar that's just next, or that one slot that's right underneath the LED lights. That's the one we need to go. Find. Okay, so am I going to retract or You're gonna extend? Extend. Just More or no. less? Good? Stop. Okay. So we've pulled this all the way through the awning, the little gap in the awning. And then we have to zip on the extension part and anchor it to the ground. Okay, so we have zipped this all up. We've got it, got it even where we want it. Last thing is they do provide some Velcro here. I think the purpose, because again, there's no instruction for this, the purpose is to keep it from sliding back and forth. I mean, it's, you can easily grab this and pull it, but uh, we're gonna end up just Velcroing it here on both sides and then I think we'll be solid uh, and ready to put the uh, anchors in and be nice and comfy out in the sunlight. So there's just two anchors? So what do yeah. you got there? Two pack RV awning, RV awning anchors. We use those to extend the corners. corners and it looks like there's room if we need more though. There it is. They seem to be pretty heavy duty. The uh, installation is complete. We have shade now. It's really actually pretty easy to do. It took maybe all of you know, 20 minutes. One of the things that we did is we ordered a anchor kit it only came with two anchors so we macgyvered a few things around the rig here we uh, some bungees and some, some bungees this that and the other thing uh so i can pick up a couple more uh, just to keep it from flapping too much it's a little breezy today so far so good this it makes is, a huge just, difference you literally feel the difference